sure. That's I'd like a private pride. meeting, really please. Compliment. Oh, all right. Are you a client? I'm looking to become a customer. I have a substantial private yeah, savings I'd like to deposit with your bank. Wonderful. Uh, how substantial? I've only seen him Seven figures. Seven? You know, when I see. That, uh, Excellent. Yes, let's just find a nice private area, no, then follow me, please. Man. I didn't catch Although your name, I'm Mr... Around so much Reaper. So, what do you do for a living, Mr. Reaper? I don't know what I'm in the retirement well, industry. Ah, then Break we're in a the very similar business. Running. Have these past few years been as profitable for you as they have for us? Very. Excellent. Director Savalas has taken us to record profits. All it took was a creative approach to the elimination of, let's say, unwanted elements. I'm all for elimination. Let me just activate the booth privacy setting for one moment. This way nobody can see or hear anything that goes on in here. Practical. Isn't it? So, you wanted to open a savings account, Mr. Reaper? Yes. Smart move. People have started filling their mattresses with cash, blaming the banks for the host of financial woes in the world, but let me be blunt. These people are the reason the world is slipping. Really? I say we stop taxing the wealthy and allow them to put the money back into society rather than into the state coffers. Watch how that creates jobs for everyone. If people don't put money in the bank, we can't invest and generate revenues for us all. That's, that's practically robbery. Interesting. That's why people of your pedigree are valued customers here at Milton Fitzpatrick. We're on the lookout for quality clientele, not the run-of-the-mill folks who just want to borrow money to save their small businesses. If that sounds interesting, well, then we should set up a proper meeting next week. Talk more about those seven figures of yours, okay? Sure. Excellent. A pleasure, Mr. Reaper. Hello. Hello. Oh, yeah, for a chat about opening up an account. Hold it, sir. I can't let you enter before I have a look in your pockets. Just a quick pat down, sir. Nothing to worry about. Thank you. Please proceed. Talk to everyone? No, I think I saw him go into the bathrooms. He's been there for ages. Okay. Doesn't sound promising. Yeah, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Let me know when he comes out. Will do. Thanks. Oh, there you are. Feeling better, I hope. Should I let HR know you're ready for the final interview? I feel like a new man. I'm ready. Wonderful. Follow me, please. It's right down here. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Mr. Thomas, have a seat, please. Ah, Mr. Thomas, good to meet you. I'm Kevin, and this is Melissa. We're both with HR, and we will be guiding you through this last test. It's important to stress that there's no pass or fail here. It's merely a standard personality test meant to gauge how you'll fit into our corporate culture. All right. If you're ready, let's kick this off, okay? I'm ready. Okay, so this is a very simple test. All you do is pick a card and tell us what you see there. Now, it's important to point out that there are no right or wrong answers here. It's just to give us a better impression of who you are on a psychological level. Does that make sense? Yes, I'm ready. All right, Mr. Thomas, uh, let's proceed then. If you will, please pick the card that most conjures up the word opportunity. This one. All right, now look at it closely. Take a few moments, then tell me, do you see an animal or an object? Animal. I see. What kind of animal? A bird. A 
an eagle, perhaps. An eagle. Very interesting. A forceful animal. Anything else? It's feeding on something. Feeding? On what? A carcass. The scene is reflected in a pool of blood flowing from the body. It's a vulture feeding on someone else's kill. That's very graphic, Mr. Thomas. Yes. Brutal, even. Right. Hmm. Very interesting observation, Mr. Thomas. <sighs> Not what we expected, but, but that's perfectly fine. Let's take the next one, shall we? Pick any of the remaining cards that make you think of execution, please. I'll pick this one. Good choice. Tell me, what is the first thing you see here? Just the very first thing that comes to mind. I see a figure in a large coat. Perspective skewed, as if I'm looking at him from the ground. He's got something in his hands. I... uh... go on. He's armed. Dual firearms. Large caliber pistols. I see. What else do you see? He's just finished a job. Perfectly executed. And who is this man? It's me. Very, very interesting, Mr. Thomas. Well, that's a very creative interpretation, Mr. Thomas. Uh, I think we've just got time for the last card. Please proceed. Uh, this last card should hopefully make you think of prosperity. Okay. Ah, oh, very good. This is an interesting one. What do you see here? Take in the whole image, please, and in as much detail as possible, tell me what this reminds you of. Wealth. Hmm. Can you elaborate on that? I see a big pile of money earned performing questionable actions. And how do you feel about that, bending the rules of the game? It's what I do. Very good, Mr. Thomas. Well, I have to say, that was very impressive, Mr. Thomas. Thank you. When do I start? <laughs> well, aren't you an eager beaver? Well, we expect you to come in tomorrow at 8. Welcome on board, Mr. Thomas. I hit every quota they threw at me. How... how could she do this? I can't be fired.
right now. Just supposed to let anyone from IT in there? That's right. Sir, if you want to pass through, I need to check that you're not carrying anything dangerous. <sighs> Sir, I'm just doing my job. I gotta pat you down. Sorry about that. And you are good to go, sir. Thank you. That's right. You know how crap this old building is with the wireless. Now the director hates seeing cables anywhere. Well, she had a router installed in her office, but it died a lot. And to need for IT to drop it. 47? That's Fabian Mann, head of accounts at this branch of Milton Fitzpatrick. He should have part of the backup data core on his person. What is that file? <sighs> really feel comfortable with this. It's just a job, you know? No, Wayne. The job is to find and expose irregularities and signs of fraudulent behavior. Expose, not hide. I understand Athena Savalas pulls a lot of weight in the industry and the partners are dying to please her, but we're complicit now. It's pretty obvious that Savalas and that man oh. character are hiding something. And yeah, Maybe they right. even staged the break-in themselves to cover up their tracks. But, like it or not, the job right now is to find out what is missing and place anything suspicious in a pile. I don't know. If we find anything, we should make sure the FBI sees it. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. And lose your job? Pension? Health insurance? I'm not ready to do that. Think hard about what you want to do, Karen. Everything has consequences. God, there's a lot of paperwork here. What happened to digitization? It's like the 1920s in here. Oh my. Kronstadt has really been crunching through the price level since that incident in Miami. Might be worthwhile taking a bite out of their stock soon. seen the Jameson TA-419? It was here a minute ago. God, I need a taco. My God, there's a lot of paperwork here. What happened to digitization? It's like the 1920s in here. How are you, sir? Ugh, 
I never seen such Has a anyone seen the Jameson TA-419? It was here a minute ago. Damn it. I think you are coming on a little too strong, mister. Have fun. Squad, lay it on me. What's the conclusion? We good? Mr. Mann, we've been reviewing for just a few hours. It's, it's not quite enough to get through the substantial amount of documentation here. You were supposed to be the best. I was told you were the best. Mr. Mann, Kruger and Schultz has won Best Internal Auditing Awards nine years in a row. We are the best. But we cannot perform miracles. Besides, what you're asking us to do here is borderline criminal. Don't worry your pretty little head about the legality of the job. I've got a lot of shit to worry about today, and I might miss both my daily workout and my five o'clock colonic because of the break-in. I'm feeling pretty salty here, lady. Less wine, more action. Oh, why am I forced to use this thing? I swear those people in IT need to get off their asses and install the right software on my laptop. Mmm, business as usual. No. Let's uh, see if we can't ruffle here. some feathers tomorrow. Once this whole thing is over. Oh, man, this is such a drag. I'll get back to it later. Oh. Oh. Christ. Second Jeez. backup data disk is secured. Just one to go, 47. You can't just go inside without an appointment, sir. Sorry. Hmm. Not a lot to do today. Mr. Franklin, it's Director Savalas from the New York branch. I'm returning a call from Jonathan Luther. I see. Any idea as to when he might be available? I understand the board wanted to perform some sort of review here. I am at a loss as to the details, however. Very well. Then I will wait for his call. It would be of benefit to me to understand the intricacies of the visit which files to find in the archives, or even an indication of the extent of the review. It would require some time to prepare for a visit. Thank you, Mr. Franklin. I'll await his call. Good day. You, take a look. On it.
What? Not... Regular customers. Ridiculous. What? That's the last objective completed. Exfiltrate the bank, 47. Miss Hall will want to have a close look at that data. Director Savalas eliminated. Good work, 47. Sorry. Nobody enters the director's office without an appointment. 